In this video, we are going to learn about the point-slope form for lines. The form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where m is the slope of a line, and x1 and y1 is a general point on the line. Now, I find it interesting where this formula comes from, because it actually just comes from the slope formula we discussed in a previous video. If you just take x, y, a general point, and just substitute it in for x2, y2, you'll see exactly where this formula comes from. If I were to multiply each side of the equation by x1, x minus x1, the x minus x1 over here will cancel out on the right side of the equation and you'll be left with x minus x1 times m is equal to y minus y1. And due to the reflexive property of equations, we can truly state that y minus y1 is equal to x oops, minus x1 times m. And then use that same commutative property on the right side of the equation. We can get y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Which is our point-slope formula. So it's very nice how simple you can derive that formula. For our first example, we're going to find a line that passes through the point negative 5, 2 with a slope of 3 fifths. And it says, what is an equation of the line? We're going to use point-slope form. So we know our point is negative 5, 2. So when I go to plug into my uh, equation, I get y minus y1, which in this case is positive 2, is equal to m, which we'll come back to in just a second, times x minus x1, which in this case is going to be negative 5. The slope for our equation is 3 fifths. So for the m spot, I'm going to put 3 fifths. Now, as soon as I simplify this statement on the right with x minus negative 5 and change that to an x plus 5, we have our answer y minus 2 is equal to 3 fifths times x plus 5. That is point slope form. Now if desired you can solve for y to switch forms to slope intercept. It's a two step process. You first distribute the 3 fifths giving you y minus 2 is equal to 3 fifths x plus 3 and then you add 2 give you y is equal to 3 fifths x plus 5. So these are both equations of the line, while this one is in point-slope form. We could have stopped earlier. Now, a line that passes through 3, 2, and 5, 8. What is an equation of the line in point-slope form, specifically? Now, I don't have a slope yet, but I do have two points. So in order to find a slope, I seem to use my slope formula. First noting the change in y, so from 2 to 8, that goes up by 6. So positive 6. And then I change an x, which as I go from 3 to 5, goes up by 2, so positive 2. Give me a slope of 3. So m is equal to 3. 
Now, if you haven't noticed, I, it, each of these questions is asking for an equation of the line. Since I could have used either point, I actually have two possible ways to write this answer that are both correct. I can write it as y minus 2, if I use the first point, is equal to 3 times x minus 3 using the first point. That is one correct solution. Or I could write as y minus 8 is equal to 3 times x minus 5. These are both correct ways to write the answer. Now, just to prove this uh, analysis, I'm going to put both of these equations in slope intercept form because surely they won't be able to have two different slopes and two different y intercepts if they are the same line. So, this, if I solve both of these for a slope intercept form, they should come out to be the exact same equation. I'm going to first start by distributing the 3 in the left equation. So, I have y minus 2 is equal to 3x minus 9, then adding 2 giving me y is equal to 3x minus 7. If, I've, if my assumption is correct, when I solve the right equation for y and put it in slope-intercept form, it should be y equals 3x minus 7. I'll start by distributing the 3, giving me y minus 8 is equal to 3x minus 15. I'll add 8 to each side, give me y is equal to 3x minus 7. Just to further prove that even though both of these point slope forms of the line look different, they both represent the same line.